Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you some options. This is the first, before we begin, this is the first Brooklyn Bridge that I made. The story behind it is my son Justice wants to move to New York to become a chef. Therefore, I made this for him. Just kind of, you know, hey, go for your hopes and your dreams and your goals, buddy. Bottom has three diamonds. There's diamond wrap on the bridge part. The bridge part on top is longer. And then um, the edges, I painted them black versus the one that I made for myself. Um, you can make either one. This is an option. The battery pack is underneath, if I didn't mention that. This is the one I made for myself. Um, it still has the diamonds. It doesn't have silver gems in the middle, just the diamond wrap. Um, I put the battery packs on the inside and then I did the bridge um, rather than starting from the outer edge so it's real long it's more inside of the bridge so it's a, it's a bit shorter I think it's a little bit more feminine um, I have not deciphered which one I like better this one has the four diamonds on the bottom and then instead of it being black on the edges I just did the mirrored paper and kept it silver. So I guess decide which one you like better. I just wanted you to see both of them. Hey, I will show you at the end of the video how to make the bridge longer. I didn't place the diamond wrap um, where the bridge is located either. I just left that black. And I still can't decide which one I like better. But thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started. I also placed the three diamonds on the actual bridge portion versus the metal thing that goes across the metal ribbon there. For his, I, I did three diamonds on each side where the metal ribbon is. I would also like to give credit where credit is due. I watched Helen uh, make hers. Helen made this and it's different than mine, but her tutorial helped me immensely. Thank you so much, Helen. I'd like to thank my husband, Michael, for doing this for me. Um, everything is in the description box, but this is how he began.
So for the sticks on the bridge, I use bamboo skewers as well as four Jenga blocks, two on each side. And I started off by just painting all of those black. So as you know, this is covered in diamond wrap, but because diamond wrap is transparent and I didn't want the wood look, I took the chrome tape and I started placing chrome tape on the edges and you want to cover everything. So I began on the edges and I used approximately three to four pieces of tape per edge to cover it all. So now the entire thing is covered in the tape. So depending on your measurements and the size that you decide to make, um, decipher where you want your Jenga blocks to be as far as the spacing. And then I just went ahead and put my Jenga blocks inside and I twisted them and then I E6000 and I hot glued them inside. So here I just cut the bling wrap and then I pre-sized it on each edge and once I got to the Jenga block part I just uh, took some bling wrap and sized that up and pieced that in and you want to take the bling wrap and put it everywhere the inside of it the outside of it the entire thing needs to be covered. I used the one by one mirror tiles and I glued two on the bottom, two on the top, and two on each side. And then there's a little bit of division for the mirror tiles. So you'll see what I did was I took two rows of bling wrap and I went around the entire Jenga block.
So once I was done gluing on the mirror tiles and the bling wrap, I took uh, four diamond gems and I put one on each side and I just hot glued those down. And make sure when you're doing this that you put the fat part facing you so when you're looking at the bridge, it doesn't look silly. So each side's going to go a different way. I just like to aim the fat part at myself. I think it looks better, but I guess that's optional. So then I took four diamond fillers, and then I just hot glued each one to each side, all four sides, on top of the bridge. So I used eight mirror tiles on each side, back and front, and how I made them perfect dimension across from each other is I took a piece of that chrome tape and I put it underneath my one mirror tile and then I held the ruler on one side and I would put hot glue on the one mirror tile and then I would stick it directly underneath the tape and I continued this process until I was finished with all of the tiles. So then I measured the bridge part, the long part to the bridge, and then I cut mirror strips out of mirror paper. And then I just taped those on. This is self-stick. So I just carefully pulled the back little by little because if you do too much, it becomes a crumpled mess. So I just stuck my hand underneath there and just started peeling away until it fit snugly, both on the top and on the bottom of the long part of the bridge. I took the mirrored paper and I also did the edge of the bottom. I did not do the top edge because I'm using the metal ribbon and basically you're not gonna see that. So I sized the metal ribbon. Um, the two edges are obviously the same size. The middle is longer. And all I did was I cut the middle ribbon, I glued it on there, and went on each side and repeated that process. Then I took the metal wreath and a wire cutter crimper and I cut my first wire off the wreath and sized it to my bridge to start making the, the wire part where the lights are going to go. Make sure when you cut the wire from the wreath that you cut it so it's equally distributed do it down the middle because you want all of your sides to be the same size so I just kind of stuck it inside of the bridge to see what it would look like and then once I was happy with the look then I went ahead and I put some E6000 and some hot glue on top of the wire and then I would hold it onto the wooden stick inside and then I would take the hot glue and I would put the hot glue on the sides and on the top of it to hold it in place. And then I just had to sit there and hold it until it would hold by itself. So then I did the same things on the side. I just sized them how I wanted them and then stuck them inside of the wood pine. And then I hot glued after I put E6000 on top of the wire. And then I, I held it down. And on the very bottom, I put a bead of hot glue 
stuck the wire inside of it, held it for a couple of seconds until it would hold by itself and just repeated that process. So I took the skewers and I just sized them to my wires and then I hot glued the top and hot glued the bottom. And the trick here was I took the sharp part of the skewer and I stuck it as close in between the metal ribbon and the bridge as I could. And then I hot glued it in there and that helped to keep it intact. Once it was dried and it was all put together, I went around the skewers again and I took my black paint and touched it up. And then like the glue from the hot glue ball things, I painted those as well because they kind of look like something that belonged to a fence or a bridge. So it made more of an industrial look, I thought. So I painted those. So here Michael is just stringing and gluing along the little fairy lights. And that's pretty much the end of this project. And I'm going to show you how you do the taller part of the bridge. Okay, so if you decide that you want the longer part, you're going to hot glue here. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to swoop down. And you're going to hot glue here. And then that just is going to give it a longer, it's going to give it a longer bridge part instead of mine is kind of lower. If you want it lower, then you're going to hot glue it behind here like we did in the video. And that's really the only difference. I found these really cute little rose tea light candle holders at the Dollar Tree. This is what they look like when they're on. Um, this is the end of the project. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to make another video showing you how to make the other Brooklyn Bridge that I showed at the very beginning, just in case you'd prefer that. If you have any additional questions or anything, you can contact me. All my information is in the description box. I would love to assist you. And I have really enjoyed showing you how to do this. Thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Those of you subscribed, thank you very much.